everybody and welcome to today's vlog thank you so much for this so many of you who have been clicking on my videos and browsing and asking questions i really do appreciate you and i hope that you're learning a thing or two in this channel miss queen mwakama hostess uh a waitress before so one time kulikwana mwenye hoteli mtoi wake alikuwa amefanya harusi reception ilikuwa ikwe wapi ikwe ikwe kwa hiyo hoteli yetu so sisi wote watu wa department watu wameambiwa lazima msaidie kwenye kukona shortage of staff so sisi tumeambiwa lazima tusaidie ku nini ku serve so una una serve ama uwe mti matebo at least wakikula hizo maplates zenye wamekula mnazitoa mnazipeleka kitchen mimi sijawahi beba tray in my life never sikwa ibeba tray in my life ati ku serve so that day nakumbuka guys my most embarrassing moment most emba hii nayo sita wa isahau so nakumbuka vile job ilikuwa fun tulikuwa tuna joke na ma colleagues nini nini so one time nikaenda ku empty a table ma, mdosi the ceo wa hiyo kampuni walikuwa wamesimama kwa table hizi ma table za to round hivi wamesimama wana kula drink wanakula tu snacks hivi wakikunywa drinks zao so one time <laughs> one time anikienda ku clear table ile kwa karibu nao mdosi akaniambiaje the CEO himself akaniambiaje tuletee maji nikamwambia sawa so mimi nikachukua place zenye nilikuwa nachukua nikaenda nikazipeleka kitchen nikaenda kwa bar nikawaambia wanipatie maji bottles kama nne hivi eh, nipeleke managers walikuwa na glasses so glasses zilikuwa hapo hivyo kwa meza so ni maji tu nimekuja nayo so si nimeweka hizo tuchupa kwa tray na tray ilikuwa ya round hivi nimeka nayo so tumekutana hivi tumekutana na nani na rabi Rabi Wotali aniambia eh mzito unajua nimebeba hivi managers ndio wako mbele yangu niko karibu kuwafikia Rabi na yeye anarudi the opposite direction amebeba na mavitu unajua so, mkiwa colleagues lazima maybe mwambiane tu vitu abuda na cheki umefanya BDM na cheki unajeka tu stamina juka liko kachalika slim aniambia eh mzito na kucheki sasa wewe umeenda kusaba ma CEO ah wewe una promotion wewe sasa naona ukikuwa fast lady so akijokivo nikaomba cheki cheki buda cheki sare sare ndio wako mbele yangu so nikaongea like cheki buda sare sare ndio wako mbele yangu watu wangu vile tu nilifika kwao hivi mimi sijui vile vile hiyo hiyo zo chupa zili, zili roll zikanguka katikati yao so wamesimama hivi hivi wanne wamesimama wawili wawili mimi sasa nimekuja hapa katikati ya CEO na mwenye alikuwa amesimama hapa bishte yake sijui ni nani so mimi nimesimama hapa katikati nimekuja hivi chupa zangu ziri roll zikanguka hapo katikati yao mimi nimesema sorry sasa nimekuwa confused ni in embarrassing moment so na ina maybe nikisema sorry sorry sir sorry sir sorry sorry sir kwa kale hivi nyuma kucheki rabika na kampuni help kwa kale nyuma na cheki rabi ameenda kimecheka ni mabega tu ndio inatingika hivi nikasema akikai kai hiyo kazi akizi kuja kunisaidia yani ameisha akafika mahali kwa kona akaeka tray yake chini akacheka yani mpaka akashika nini akashika ni zake hivi mabega zake tu ndio naona zikimuvivi sasa so, mimi nasema sorry sorry niko katikati ya migu zao nikizichukua alafu hizi machupa nazo zinataka kuni embarrass more the moon enda kushika moja ina roll inaenda further it was so embarrassing my guy huyu ni msio hata fadhali ingeangukia mtu mwingine hapa nikajua mimi kazi yangu imeisha na imeisha but haikuisha I, I think alikuwa very disappointed of course because ama maybe ali understand i have no idea i could make it a big deal because siku haipata any bad feedback but nakumbuka hiyo ilikuwa last tulikuwa tunakutana hivi na rabi rabi ana, ananiona anaisha nawaambia rabi mimi nilikuwa na kitu tu mambega tukifanya hivi ananiambia mimi nakwambia alikuwa amecheka timbaka ile aizi toa sauti ukicheka because vile mbavu zimemuuma mimi na mimi hapa niko katikati ya migu zao nikisema sorry sir sorry sir so nawaangalia hivi juu nikisema sorry sir sorry sir nikienda kuchukua chupa ina roll inaenda <sighs> nikaenda nikachukua kitambaa nikawapanguzia mdosi wangu au ma Irish au handsome people wakaniambia a wewe hatukutumi kwa tembo ni mo ka hapa walikuwa wapoa wakanipatia ka drink nikakaa yani walikuwa very they were very nice they were very sweet so that was a very embarrassing moment kwa hiyo point but nilienda up kutoka because after walianza kule watu off nilianza kuona hata mimi sitakuwa na chance so before nilewe off 
afadhali miji nijichomoe so hivyo ndivyo nilienda home sikurudi kwa hiyo kampuni they never paid me for my last month yenye nilifanya kazi mshahara yangu ya 1800 grand midwest haiku nilipanga because vile nilienda home nikawa call wakaniambia you have to kuja we claim vile nilirudi dubai kuiendea imagine hakuna mtu alikuwa na, na nini yani management hiyo place ilikuwa mbaya there is no, walikuwa na nituma kutoka kwa huyu kwa huyu kwa huyu kwa huyu i ended up niliwaambia kaeni nayo ka nayo hata sitaki because ilikuwa imebidi nimerudi like three days nikitumwa kwa huyu na huyu na huyu na huyu so yeah that was my very first job i was paid 1800 kufanya kazi kwa a hotel in a new club ya watoi na walikuwa na it was very nice that was a very good idea but siju kwa nini haiku sell so yeah i'll tell you a story now how i landed into my aviation industry in the next video guys don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and let me know in the comment section mshahara yako ya kwanza the first job you landed how much were you paid ama kai kitu yani leta imenye ulipata mshahara hivi hata kama ni katika job kawana wa how much were you paid eh mimi sahi nikiangalia 1800 hey yeah bye bye guys